It's the Plowing Pre-Game Report, brought to you exclusively by PMS and Harvesting, helping farmers feed America, and KLMX 97.5 FM, The Bear. Every week, myself, Anna Haston, along with David Daney, will chat up coaches and instructors along with their players, athletes, and students to bring you the inside scoop on what excitement is to come during this week's Yellow Jacket Varsity Face-Offs. Catch the Polling Pre-Game Report on air Fridays at 10 a.m. and online noon Fridays at klmx.us slash sports. Get your questions answered on air or send us your comments and or well wishes at klmx.sports at gmail.com. It's the Polling Pre-Game game report now let's meet this week's yellow jacket heroes all right welcome to episode 19 of the polling pregame report i am david daney we are here with we'll start on that side or this side we'll start on this side jonathan hidalgo ryan ruff morgan chris, morgan chris. Oh, anyway. <laughs> pressy polling lauren montoya and triton polling yep <laughs> Jonathan Hidalgo. What did I say? Jonathan. Jonathan. Oh, it's sorry. Jonathan. Jonathan. Sorry. Jonathan Hidalgo. So Hidalgo. I got, I got corrected on the last name wrong before. On, on air. <laughs> All right. So first off, welcome everybody. And congratulations on making it to the first round of the playoffs. Everybody excited, right? Yes, yes. sir. Excited, yes. nervous, combo, anxieties. Nothing. What All of it. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and... Big congrats to Morgan for, I'm going to read this because I don't know the full, the Coach Dick Shelley St. Michael's High School Basketball Scholarship. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, now how's that feel? Good. Yeah. I get it uh, Saturday at noon. Saturday at noon. Oh, so there's like a ceremony? Tournament. Yes. This. Okay. Where at? Uh, it's during the state tournament. They'll do it at the pit. It's before the, I think the 3A boys championship game on Saturday. And they like, oh. you go down on the floor and they like, all right, so the first round for both boys and girls. So girls, we have first round Santa Rosa, 6.30 yes. on Friday. Yes, sir. Boys, we have first round in Jal, Saturday at 6 o'clock. Yes. No, I said Friday again, didn't I? Saturday. 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 You're, you're on it. My brain's not there right now. So we're going to start off with the girls, right? So two losses and a huge win against Santa Rosa already. Now we're going in for match number four. Yeah. What, what are you feeling? What are you thinking? What, like? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Our old coach always used to tell us it's hard to beat a good team three times. So even though we did lose to Santa Rosa those first two times, maybe that was like, you know, part of the plan of the so that we can get that final win against okay. them. Yeah. And now we've been practicing all week, so it feels like we're better prepared. Okay. Well, yeah, because now you have a lot more time it. to prepare against each team, right? Because it's not multiple games in one week you have. One team that you can prepare a whole week for. Yes. That makes it probably a lot easier, right? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> a little anxious though, because it is in Santa Rosa again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how many times I've been to Santa Rosa right now. <laughs> probably a lot. <laughs> One of the guys there was asking if I wanted to put a cotton in the last time I was there. <laughs> Boys, Jal, right? Last year, first round, 63 to 46, and you went home. I don't know, were you, were you all three on that team last year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. How are you feeling this year? How's it? A lot better. A lot better? Yeah, yeah. right. What, what is the, um, what do you think you, you notice is the biggest difference between last year's team and this year's team for you guys? They're, for them or us? For you, for you guys. Uh, for us, I think we're, we're faster. We play way better defense. Uh, we're getting more in sync every game. We're building up that chemistry back up again, so. Okay. Well, it's like chemistry, yeah because we're just connecting the dots now. Okay. Way better than last year. I think we have gotten better with plays and experience, all that. So this is going to be a question in general for everyone, right? Because so, we've noticed both for right every game with you guys. The aggression level has increased steadily over the year. Right? Mm -hmm. Good aggression, right? Like, because that's like what we want to see in the floor, right? We don't want to be passive. We want to be aggressive, right? So, do you both feel for both teams that it's enough? That you've increased your aggression levels enough for this tournament now? Or do you still feel like you need some more? We'll start with the girls. I think our main thing, I feel like our team has been really hit or miss. It's like we have a really good game and then we go have a mediocre game. And then we'll go have a really good game. And it's just we gotta stay consistent, I think. Especially going into after this game, if we win this game, it's going to be three games in one week. And 
it's just, I mean, we know what it takes. We did it last year, but you gotta be consistent with it if you wanna win. Okay. Definitely. You wanna win? Oh, you got something? <laughs> Gentlemen, I think we got the aggression for sure, but it just depends if we could uh, play together and just play how we know how to play. The girls, you'll be playing the winner of the first and sixteenth place. So you could be your next game is going to be a most likely against the first place team, right? Yeah, a rematch. So really, state. this game mm -hmm. is going to be your easiest. Um. Theoretically, yes. Theoretically, yes. Right? Unless there's upsets. And for the boys, it's 15 and True. second, right? So yeah. whoever wins, like if you guys walk away with your win on Saturday, you're going to be playing most likely against the second place team. Yeah. So this is, theoretically speaking, this weekend is going to be your easiest game that you're going to have. Yeah. After this, it's just going to get I think harder. Tough. I yeah. think for us, we've played Santa Rosa so many times, I think that's <laughs> going to be, I think it's going to be a tough game. And then I definitely think the toughest game you would have to play in the whole state tournament if we win, is going to be second round. If we play Escalante, that's mm -hmm. easily yeah. the. Okay. So I heard Escalante doesn't state. have the same team they had last year, though, right? They have, they exactly have the same, same team, team exactly. but they lost coach. their coach. Oh, yeah. they lost the coach. Their coach got fired for messing up their game, and that's their new coach fan. is Pecos' old coach. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So right. if we do play Escalante, there's a lot of built up aggression and like resentment. So that might be hard. Okay. I think uh, I think the first round will probably be like that. You're right. It's maybe the easiest. Second round, we we want we've been wanting this matchup versus ATC, and then uh, the third round, if we make it there, I think we'll play Texaco again. I think that'll probably be our toughest game. Texaco. Yeah, they're just like our they're just like Crypt and I. I don't know why. But. Is it the players or just in general, like yourselves? Do you think it's them or yourselves? Or it's both. Yourselves both a little bit? Yeah. I think psyching yourselves out. Yeah. So you think Triton, you're up quiet over there. Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> Matchups is, are different with Texaco, and they're just, they're a good team. That's why they're ranked the way they are. So. And, and they've been kind of Clayton rivals for yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. That on top of it, right? right. <laughs> so it just adds no, no pressure at all. Yeah. At all. Yeah. I, I, hear, I, hear, I hear the Texaco student section, but like in the pit, yeah. I didn't hear anything. Okay. I can't. Well, we were warming up. Well, I listened to the Texaco student crap. section, but I didn't hear. Well, I didn't hear much. <laughs> it was yeah. too loud in there to like focus in on one thing. Yeah, the pit's its own little world, right? It yeah, a... it's crazy. <laughs> And you guys, you don't even hear you just, you're just on that court, whatever's on the court, that's it. I can everywhere else but in Texaco. Texaco's okay. the Same. only place I've ever heard the crowd. <laughs> and their court feels never ending. But regardless of how anything goes this season, it was an exciting season. So I gotta tell you, like, we both enjoyed being out there and, and announcing the games for you guys. And of course, most of you here are seniors, right? Yes, sir. All the women. All the All the women, right? So <laughs> without <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> So this actually for you guys probably means a little bit more, right? Like this is, yeah. these Tonight's are your final games. Right? Our like, last ever practice in Yellow Jacket again. Aww. Oh, wow. Monday, Monday, Monday. We're gonna maybe. win. Maybe. If we, 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 well, but in general, it makes these games that much more important, right? Yes. Unlike John, who's going to be back next year, that's more. <laughs> <We're all done. laughs> I mean, I've been. So you're a senior too? Yes. Oh, it's been okay. okay. I've been running it with the same guy since freshman year. Like it, it was me, Blake, Rylan, and then like a couple different starters yeah. like, in two years. But I've been running it with them since freshman year, so it's crazy. It's going to be different for you, right? Yeah. Not having them on the court, it will be. Oh no. All right. okay. I'm so glad she's not here. She doesn't so, <laughs> that ends the, the like, official part. So, I don't know if you guys know, like, well, we do, like, questions on the air now. Like, people can win things. Right? Oh, okay. So, they can, if they answer, so, the only way they can answer, though, is they have to watch this polling pregame report to find the answer to the question. Oh, yeah. So, we got a few questions here that we're going to ask you guys. Just to make it easy, I'm just going to start with Triton and move this way. First question yep. down and go from there. All right, and if go for it. And if you're unable to answer that question, then we'll try and we'll, we'll play it by ear. But we'll go with right. Triton first, right? First question. Who gave you your first bad grade? Done. <laughs> <laughs> like how bad? Like as well as it can go? Shameful. That's more like who, you Shameful. Tell, you had to bring it home to yeah. mama. Ooh. And Jen was mad. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know if I remember or not. Probably. You wanna go to the next one? Yeah, I can't right. I can't think of it. Miss Allen? <laughs> oh. Do you remember what it was? Oh. It was my math times tables. Math times tables. I couldn't get past like four. And, and Ryland was already on ten and it made me so mad. What grade was this? Third grade. Third grade. I was in that class. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next question. All right, the next question. Okay. What is your worst fear? Ooh. <laughs> no, that's hard. <laughs> Probably spiders. <laughs> well, aside from spiders, um, I don't know. Probably like disappointing my parents. Aww. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's, that's, my, that's, that's, yeah. that's my a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. All right, Morgan, who taught you how to drive? Um. <laughs> If you ask my mom, she'd say my dad. <laughs> but we're asking you. Um, my mom and my dad. Probably my dad, mostly. All right, good job, that. dad. All I right, mean, are you a good driver, though? Not according to my mom. <laughs> 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 he would say no. He would say no. <laughs> Alright, so maybe not a good job, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> He's still going. We just fucked a lot. Yeah. But have you died? Alright. Ryland, when did you lose your first tooth? And is there a story behind it? I have no clue. Well, probably when I was younger, like, I don't, I don't even know. I don't have a story <laughs> Well, I hope when you were younger. Yeah, I'm hoping. I don't know the first time. Oh I probably did something oh, stupid for it. <laughs> All right, next. Next. Uh, we'll come back to yeah. you. For the truth? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I just lost Do it. Do you have a story? <laughs> tooth story? Uh, I, do. I don't know when the yeah. first tooth I lost was, but when I was little, I like, never wanted my mom to pull my teeth. So I just left it in there. I won't let her pull it. <laughs> and I woke up in the morning, it was just gone. No idea where it went. Pretty fresh, that's all it is. You swallowed your tooth. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 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 what happened to try this tooth in his sleep? All right, next. All right, how old were you when you learned to ride a bike? I think I was probably five. Started on a tricycle. <laughs> and I don't know, <laughs> six or seven when I took off the training wheels. And were you good at it like, from the game? No. It took you two years to take off the train That's tough, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough, bro. That's so mean. No way. She can't reach the pedals. All right, last question. She can reach the pedals. Where was your first, vaca first vacation to? Uh, Denver, Colorado. Was it fun? Yes. What did you What'd do? You do? Uh, we went to the aquarium. I got to see the Broncos Stadium. And I went to Elite Gardens there for my birthday. How old were you? I was turning 12. So your 12th birthday, first vacation. How exciting. All right. Those are my questions. All right. Thank you guys so much. All right. So this is obviously, this is the first polling pregame report for the playoffs. playoffs. Yeah. You guys got anything you want to say to your fans out there? You know, I know a lot of the games are far away. So, but yeah. Thank you guys for supporting us all season long. And I hope that you guys can come to our games during the state tournament. I hope you think the gas is worth it. Please show it. long drive, so yeah. tune in. Yeah, tune <laughs> in. <Yeah. laughs> don't show up. It's better if you show up. Yeah. Show up if you can. Yeah, please. If you are able. Yeah. 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 Is that it? All right. Well, that wraps up this episode 19 of the Polling Pure Game Report. Thanks for joining in, and we'll talk to you guys live on the radio later. Ciao. There is a spider on my island, somebody <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! I already killed it! Oh, no, 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 no. I need a spider. Please leave that in there. Can we leave that in there, please? Oh, it's so moving. It was not moving, no. though. <laughs> This building's over a hundred years old. I don't know. There's all kinds of things in here. No, I have a DVD. Yeah, me too. Yes, I don't know. I saw it. I saw it. I got it on video. Confirmed.